everybody. Welcome to another episode of Regeneration TV. Today we got a special treat for you. We got Jesse with us and also we're going to be talking about a topic that's quite controversial right now. So I'm going to dive right in. I don't know if you know that this weekend just passed in April. It uh, We celebrated the Passover. We celebrated uh, Jesus' resurrection on Sunday. Uh, and also there was another big event that happened and it's actually 420. It's National Pot Smoking Day or Weed, weed Day, however you want to call it. And it was actually a really big event. I think in San Francisco there was like 15,000 people that went to um, Hippie Hill or whatever you call it. And uh, it was a big event that was celebrated. And I, you know what I never noticed was that for me this was the first time ever in my 29 years that I've really thought about what this weekend's all about. Resurrection Sunday or, you know, Jesus going in the grave and being resurrected. I've never really thought about it. It's like, wow, it really happened. You know, we're celebrating it. We're remembering this. And then I, I you know, I always heard about 420 and I thought, whatever, I don't celebrate it. But then I, I thought that, man, they're going on at the same time. And I just wondered, you know, how, which one is really wor more worth celebrating? That's really what I wanted to talk about today. And I, I don't want to try to judge you if you do smoke weed or if you were there at 420 on Hippie Hill celebrating. I'm not here to judge you. The whole point of this is to offer you an opportunity to think about which one really is more worth celebrating and which one really could provide the better, um, the better uh, life that we're looking for. So today, because I don't have a whole lot of experience in it, I don't, you know, my story, I never really had the desire to smoke weed. I never did. I never got drunk. You know, I, I did sin in other ways, but that was never a way of mine. And I don't have any experience in it. So I brought in, not an expert, but somebody who has experience in it, and he, I wanted to ask him, you know, that if, if uh, you know, that everybody, again, celebrating um, marijuana on this day, is it really better than what Jesus can offer you? And maybe you don't know what Jesus can offer you, and we'll talk about that at the end, but I just wanted to ask Jesse, because he's, he is actually used to be very heavily involved in marijuana and not anymore, so maybe you could just tell us a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, I was uh, actually really heavily involved with marijuana. I, I was a salesman, and um, I tend to got, uh, I found myself smoking it for purposes of just having companionship around me. I was alone, and um, when I became a Christian, I, I still decided to use marijuana because I made an excuse that it was a seed bearing plant and that God created it and it was natural. Pretty common. It's pretty common, isn't it? <laughs> but that was my excuse to continue smoking marijuana and it wasn't until I continued further, digged into the Bible and, and found other verses that it said you should be sober minded and vigilant. Yeah. And I realized that I was not sober minded and vigilant when I was on marijuana. It was only like this temporal joy that I would experience like every so like hour, hour and a half um, that I would just have this like momentary of, of numbness of like in a sense to what I thought was joy at the time. And uh, I would have to continuing to keep feeling that emptiness when it, when it went away in a sense. When the high went away, I would continue to keep feeling it. Um, but it wasn't until I fully uh, surrendered my life over to Jesus Christ and found this joy that has filled my heart everlasting that I can't, it's just this joy that just overflows. It's like not even empty no more, it just overflows and it spreads out to other people. And um, that is the reason why I live today um, fully surrendered to Jesus Christ to tell um, young generations and anybody out there that um, has been involved in some of the stuff that I've done or not even that is just lost in general um, that there is a hope in Jesus Christ there is a hope in Jesus Christ and his eternal kingdom and it's for everybody for, that whosoever believe in Jesus yep well you heard it firsthand from somebody who's been involved in it and and again, this, the whole point of this video is not to judge you or call you a sinner if you smoke weed or you do smoke weed. 
I believe that Jesus came to give us life more abundantly. So he came to give us a better way to live. And so, you know, for us is we, we really want the best way to live. And should we say, forget this whole Easter thing, you know, shut the churches down. Let's all go to San Francisco and get, uh, get high. You know, that's the better way to live. But I think just even in Jesse's experience and experiences all over that the, what you're looking for is really found in Jesus. And, and a lot of people that I believe that uh, or that I know that have smoke weed and do smoke weed, it's mostly because there's a lot of inner pain, stress, um, and it helps with that. Like Jesse said, it numbs it for a while, gives you the temporary satisfaction, and then you, then it's gone and you got to do it again. And I believe that Jesus came to give us life more abundantly, that he came to give us love forever. And we can find all of that in him. And I just, I, I, what my, our hope, my hope with this video is to help you to think about it is that Jesus, the son of God who came to die and he rose again to life and to give us eternal, eternal life, that he could, he could heal the heart. He could provide so much more than we'd ever could. So we're not getting into a biblical battle of whether the Bible says it's okay or not. You know, that's not what this video is about. This video is more about where can you find the hope and the satisfaction that you're really looking for. It, and we, I believe, and I, we both believe that it's not in marijuana, that actually it is in Jesus. And we're not touching on the medical properties of it. It's just the recreational use of it. But Jesus can be used any time, and you know what? It makes your life better. There's no bad side effects to it. And uh, so we hope this video helps you, and I hope you can just be encouraging to your friends not to judge throw rocks if somebody smoked me, but to say, you know what, Jesus can, he can provide what it is you're looking for, the hope, maybe the pain he loves and he can heal. So thank you. And we hope to see you next time.